last year's race was undoubtedly a, a pleasure to ride. It was very well organized, it was a challenging route. Uh, and uh, I've been riding professional UCI races and uh, it uh, was at the same level as that. It was one of the best uh, organized races that I have raced in Denmark. So in, uh, in that aspect it was uh, quite fun to race it. Uh, it was also a very nice day, it was warm and good weather. Uh, and there was around 200 riders to the start, so it was... Uh, a pretty nice uh, race to, uh, to compete in. No doubt that one of the pleasures with this uh, setup last year was the many uh, police officers and MC uh, uh, officials who completely blocked the roads. So you can just go in the center of uh, Copenhagen out of the city without any uh, traffic going against you. That was a very a nice uh, thing to do. Um, so that was at the highest level, absolutely. Um, and then you can go on, on roads where you normally don't race, where you only go on the, uh, on the cycling side part uh, of the road. So that was a, a nice experience uh, for a change. You can say normally amateur races are going uh, on in the uh, outside, in the landscape. Uh, whereas here you can race in the city of Copenhagen or in the city last year of, of Elsinger uh, with, uh, with completely blocked roads lot of spectators. Normally when you race it's uh, going on in a small village outside where it's easy uh, to control the traffic. Here you go on in, in the middle of the, of, of the city uh, like when there was the world championships and here they did the time trial in the center of, uh, of Copenhagen. Here you go out of the, uh, of the city on big roads, motorcyclists just blocking the road on every side uh, of the road. I mean that's pretty fun.